So the first tool here that I want to show you is going to be the tool that corrects red eye. So the way that red eye happens is when the room or area that you're taking your photo is kind of dark and then you use flash, what happens is the flash goes all the way through the eye to the back of the eye and the red at the back of the eye reflects all the way through. And so you've got this red eye appearance. And there's a special tool. If we look at the set of photo repair tools that we have here, I can click on this very top tool. I'm gonna go down to the bottom here and choose the red eye tool. And basically what that tool does is it looks for red and changes it to black. Um, and it's only the red that's um, connected or contiguous. So if I click on the red of this eye here, it's going to think a minute and change it all to black. Now I do have some options up here. Pupil size means how far around it's going to look for black and then how much I want to darken it. So if I felt like this had a little bit of red left in it, I could increase the darken amount so that it makes it a little bit darker. And so for this next day, I'm going to go ahead and do that because there's quite a bit of red here that needs to be changed. So this time I'm going to click and notice now it changed this other eye too. And you can use it a second time if you felt like you needed to, but you don't want to overdo it or it won't really look natural. So basically what it's doing is it's just finding red and changing it to black. And it doesn't just work on eyes, it'll work on anything that has red. So if I come over here and these lips have some red in them, and I want to change the lips to black. I can select it. Notice it has to think a little more because it's a bigger area. And now it's also changed that red to black. So it's not like magic that it knows where the eyes are. You have to tell it and then it'll change whatever, whatever part of it is red to black. So that is the red eye tool.